LeBron James aggravated his ankle injury on Tuesday night and has been ruled out for the rest of the pro season. Ty Lu says he isn't sure if LeBron will be ready for Tuesday night's season opener against Kyrie Irving and the Celtics. Stephen A, talk to me. Big deal or no big deal? No big deal whatsoever. LeBron James has tens of millions of Twitter followers and social media followers for a reason, because he's a master at marketing and creating unnecessary drama. LeBron James is not going to miss the season opener, because if he missed the season opener, then everybody would say, you know what, he didn't show up because he didn't want to deal with the nonsense and the noise of Kyrie Irving coming to town. That's what they would say. He doesn't want that kind of headache. He'll show up to play. He'll be ready uh, as best he can, and he'll be ready to go because he's LeBron James, and as a basketball player, he has graduated to the point where he does not deserve our criticism before April, May, and June because the regular season, if there's one person that has legitimate beef to say it means close to nothing to me, it's him because we know what he's about. Those are all valid points, but just keep one thing in mind about LeBron right now. No one who has ever logged the minutes that he has logged has played at this level ever in the history of basketball, which means that we're in unchartered water here. We're in uncharted territory. We don't know how his body's going to respond to all this stuff and how much longer he can maintain that level of play. So every little injury now is of heightened concern for everyone who's watching how does this mean his body is slowly starting to get to the point where now these injuries can become bigger deals where he has to coddle himself in the regular season Stephen a not just so he can hit the gas in the postseason but one of these years he's going to try to hit the gas he's going to hit the pedal and the gas not going to be there you know we are in we have never seen this before no one who's played as many minutes as LeBron has played has ever performed like this before so everything is kind of a big deal for LeBron one comment I want to say to you and I'd like your response to this that's true but we've also never seen a dude 6'9 260 that lived primarily on the perimeter either it's not like he's down there getting beat up he's a perimeter dude at that size. Do we not need to take that into consideration? No doubt. Just as uh, you are hoping that I'm wrong about Tom Brady's cliff, <laughs> that there were, oh, will always be exceptions and that someone's going to run the four minute mile eventually. Yeah. So, of course, we have to I take that it. into consideration, I but you it. just don't know. Oh, that was a good Touché. one, Max. He can't Touché. miss Touché. that game Touché. against Touché. With Kyrie Touché. back in Cleveland.